Welcome back everyone, we're here for week 6 of the YCL, we're up against Jeremy today, before we get started I just want to say thank you everyone for being here and thank you to everyone who's been supporting me on the channel, um, we've crossed over 200 since our last match, we've been going up really quickly lately actually, so up at a bit over 230 as this um, match is taking place. Um, we're playing against Jeremy today, who's a good friend of mine, been helping me out for uh, quite some time. Uh, we expected either a Cleaver or an Iron Treads lead, so we want to scare it out and get a uh, knockoff happening. Um, please go and support his channel. He's new. I met him on a showdown, in a showdown league, and he wiped the floor with us. So we're trying to avenge that in this game here in the YCL. Uh, he's at three and two, I'm four and one. So I think I need to win one of my last three to make playoffs. He needs to make, he knocks off as well. Makes sense. Um, yeah, he. I need to win one of my last three. He needs to win two of his last three. So it's quite important for uh, both of us probably slightly more for him to want to knock off and I might U-turn here. Alright, he Volt switches. Uh, we're going to U-turn, so we'll get a bit of initiative on him. Alright, Elizabeth. Who's Elizabeth? Goes into Sylveon. Makes sense. It might have been a decent play to uh, go for the double knockoff. Um, that's okay. I think I have to go into Salazzle here. Uh, do we get any information from the damage we got from Sylveon? Alright, so it's not his death. Yeah, it's probably just max HP, I would say. Because Sludge Bomb wouldn't kill and he could have a Psychic move, I think I'm going to go for a Toxic first. I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, he might go into Cleaver. Cleaver would make a lot of sense. He stays in, so does he go for a psychic move? Upper voice. That's alright, so that just does 31. So that's, um. Is that right? That seems very low. 31. Huh, okay. Uh, we're just gonna get, get a sub up here. Getting the Toxic off and this is really, really important. So with the team that I've brought, I really wanted to fit in uh, Salazzle and Sir Titan because I hadn't brought them yet. What does he go for here? Hyper Voice. That's fine. Uh, we're just going to uh, protect here. He might just switch out, so it's tempting to go for attack, but I don't think I want to do that. He might just be trying to wear uh, me down. Yeah, so I hadn't brought the Titan or Salazzle yet. I made two trades during the week. Um, not my roster, I changed my Terra Captain. So uh, Decidueye and Mimikyu aren't my Terra Captains anymore. You'll see below I brought a Terra Steel, Sandaconda, and a Terra Ghost to Titans. They're my two Terra Captains. I just figured I, I mean, we're in week six and I haven't brought the Titan to a game. Uh, so I figured that by making it a Terra Captain, I'm a bit more likely to bring it to a match, so here it is. Uh, yeah, it's just obviously much better uh, with the option to Terra. I just kept finding reasons uh, not to bring it. I don't know if it makes my roster any better, but like the Titan in this game is extremely threatening. I think he might just spam my choice until he goes down. There's no reason for him to uh, really change anything. Uh, this might let us get off a Toxic on something else that comes in, which I don't know what that might be. I guess I can just go for the throw up. Right, so we should take out Sylvie on here. Do. Sweet. Yeah, I think Sylveon was uh, decent into our team. Kind of annoying. I guess with the Terra Steel Sandaconda, maybe it wasn't you know, super amazing. If we see Greninja, might even go 
good for protect first stop. Goes into the Cyclozar. Yeah, I mean, we can just pop sick again, I think. I know if it makes sense. Alright, and this is. It makes sense for him to go into this because uh, it's obviously faster than us. I think I'm just going to protect here, I don't think I have a reason not to. We're off to a pretty good start, obviously losing in our uh, boots on Decidueye is maybe not the best, but we can live with that. I think we can just go into Decidueye on this, it doesn't have an, an amazing matchup, but depending on what he goes for after the knockoff, I don't think he goes for a knockoff again. I actually think he should, he's got U-turn, he should go for U-turn. Yeah, I'm happy to just go for the Decidueye play. There's nothing that punishes it too bad. Uh, worst case scenario would be Greninja, but we're pretty spadette, so I don't even know. There's, you know, not every Greninja set's gonna kill me. He just withdraws. What is he going to? Hopefully, maybe. Um, I think, I don't really mind that much if I get Willow Wisp, not here to, not here to deal damage, so I can either U-turn or I can knock off, I think I prefer to go for a knock off, and if he stays in then I can U-turn next, so that's perfectly fine. I don't have an amazing matchup against this uh, Rodon, so if I can remove its item and do a bit of damage then that's pretty good for me. I would expect this to have Will-O-Wisp um, and I've got the Sir Titan so I can't set up on it. Uh, the fact that he knocked off and then hard switched the arts is like, okay. The fact that he hard switched out and didn't U-turn kind of tells me that um, Cyclozar might be choice locked. Does that knock off damage tell me anything? Yeah, should be max HP, so expect like max HP and speed. I'm actually just going to uh, default here, get rid of those screens, because he probably goes, he misses the Willow, that's unfortunate for him. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, this, I think Rodon gets, I'm sure Rodon gets Reflect. I'm sure all the Rodoms get um, both screens. I think I can just U-turn here. Might be able to get our Salazzle back in, which can get a bit more health from the Black Sludge. All right, so this U-turn should do a fair amount. What do we do? Yeah, nice. So that's down at about 36, 37% now. Let's go, let's go Salazzle and we'll just Flamethrower. You get a bit of health back and Flamethrower should kill him unless he's like very spadef. So yeah, he's at like 37, 38. So he's max HP, uh, this should kill. I could also go for a protect to get a bit more, but that might be a little bit greedy. So I think I'm just gonna go for a Flamethrower. This should kill. He's obviously got a bit of spadef. He both switches and we're still... So we're in an interesting spot because Cleavor could be scarfed. So we're potentially outsped by Cyclozar and Greninja plus if Cleavor is scarfed, would Cleavor be scarfed though into me? Makes a bit of sense. Scarfed U-turn, Stone Axe. I think we could just go Decidueye if he goes Cleavor. Goes Greninja. Based on the funny font on that Greninja, I'd say that's the Battle Bond one. Just realized that as it came up, because I remember the um, the language is a bit different. I'm gonna go Decidueye. That's my main sort of switch into this. Greninja can kind of wreck my life. Sword Dance. Oh. No. How do I deal with this? Well, I think I U-turn first. Let's U-turn. Sword Stance. It's um, actually got a fairly decent uh, physical move pool, but I just haven't seen 
sword stance Greninja in quite a while. He withdraws, okay. We scare him out, so that's good. He doesn't know what my last move is. Okay, he sacks the bro on. Cool. Alright. He missed the willow on me earlier, so that um that kind of sucks for him. See if I go into Tornados, that brings in Cleavor. If I bring in Sandaconda, I can coil and that might sort out Greninja. I don't know, we're in a good spot. Just need to be careful, particularly of the Greninja. If he's battled one Greninja, yeah, we just can't afford to let him take the game off us. He goes into treads. I might just coil, he could set rocks. He knocks off. That's fine. Uh, do I need to get to plus two? Or do I want to get some damage? I think I just want to get off damage because I think, yeah, I, I don't think I can sweep with this, but I can do a lot. I don't really need the ghost terror type on the titan, so I lose nothing by going terror steel if Greninja tries to come in on this. Uh, let's go suck as well. Let's do this Cleavor. Okay, take out the cyclers off. I don't think I've got any attack. No, I'm zero attack, but I'm a plus one. Earthquake does a lot to Ranger. Alright, let's coil cool again. Could rest? I think I might rest on this. I can Terra Steel and rest. Because this maybe wins if it wakes up quick enough. Because I wake up after two turns no matter what. Because of rest, but I can wake up earlier with Shed Skin. <laughs> I was actually between Terra Dark and Terra Steel on this. Uh, Jamie talked me into Terra Steel, and yeah, bang on point, as he usually is. Uh, so, yeah, the two people that generally help me with. Um, Moth battles and things is I wake up straight away. So yeah, I think I just win with this. Yeah, the two people that I generally mock with are um, Jamie, who I just mentioned, and Jer Jeremy, who we're playing against at the moment. Uh, yeah, so he'll get the minus one defense, and yeah, this is going to take him out. And then I'm pretty confident that that plus two, plus two, that um, we get the crit, but yeah, it did not matter. Plus to an Earthquake to Greninja should win. And yeah, we're, uh, we're just in like a crazy run at the moment where um, we're winning a lot of our games and a lot of our games have been uh, really big. So what's he trying to do? He's trying to get Chip on this to then win with Greninja because if he gets the kill, I think I'm fine. So he will play Body Press. Yeah, I don't think there's any... I want to make sure because I don't want I don't want to get reverse swept by Steven Greninja. Uh, what's his best physical attack? Get low kick. Yeah, he would need a crit, so I'm fine to just go for this. Uh, so the iron treads is gone, Sizzling. So nice stuff. Alright, so this should kill unless he's like really bulky. And yeah, good game. Um, I think he might have 6-0'd me last time we played, so we haven't had a close match yet. Uh, ladder will come up up here. Um, doing really good in the season. Uh, pushing for playoffs in both leagues that we're playing in. Uh, I think we're clinched in both. So yeah, things are going really good, at, good for us since the home update. We're kind of hitting a sweet spot. And yeah, good game to Jeremy. I'll see you all next time.